When we got home, I got another day off from Walter. Tuesday. I told him I was going to need all my Tuesdays for a while. <clears throat> so I'm typing up the thesis. What there is of it, anyway. Uh -huh. I thought you might want to read it over. Of yeah. course, we're not finished yet. Oh. So I had a thought. It was kind of weird. Wait, wait. I, I don't think the tape is rolling. Oh. Okay, so uh, weird thought. Uh, if somebody could wave a magic wand and give you one day, 24 hours of uh, perfect health, how would you spend it? It's a weird thought. It's a good thought. Oh. to share it with the world? Uh, I'd have a lovely breakfast, sweet rolls and tea, and a good swim. I'd ask my friends for lunch, great lunch, you know, but uh, a salad or something simple. But, and then we'd take a walk in a park, you know, with trees so we could watch the birds. And we'd talk about how much we meant to each other. And for dinner, I'd take them to a place that had great pasta. Oh, boy. And a little duck. Yeah, I love duck. Do you like duck? Yeah. Yeah. And then I would dance. Oh, I'd dance with my, my lovely partners until I was exhausted. I go home, I have a great sleep. That's it? That's your perfect day, huh? <laughs> Sounds pretty simple. Oh. What about Charlotte and your sons? You didn't mention them. Well, I don't have to mention them. I mean, if they weren't there, how could it be a perfect day? <laughs> oh, I, I picked a spot to be buried on a hill under a tree. It's got a pond. Great place to think. Are you planning on doing a lot of thinking there? I plan on being dead there. Will you come and visit and tell me your problems? Won't be quite the same, not hearing you talk. Well, I'll tell you what. When I'm dead, you talk, I'll listen. What if, uh, you know, after your, uh, what if all this was just, what, what if all this was just wasted on me? Well, you think that could happen? Well, out in the world, you know, outside this room, things aren't so clear. Your wisdom and your aphorisms, once you learn how to die, you learn how to live. What if you can't learn that? What if you just want to run like hell when you see death coming? What if uh, we're like your father, you know? What if we, we can't learn it because we're not really like you? Yeah, but you are like me. Everybody is. Nobody's like you. And if it took your death to teach me these things, then I'd rather not learn them. All the things you said, I'd give them back in one minute. If this wasn't happening to you. It's happening. It's, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, well, I don't want it to happen. I don't want you to die. That poem you're always quoting, um, we have to love one another or die. We die anyway, don't we? We learn to love somebody and they die or, or we die or it dies. What's the point? What, what do we learn, really, from all that suffering? I'm sorry. I just can't accept it. I don't want you to die. I guess I flunked the course, huh? Death ends a life, not a relationship. Poor Mitch. You still don't know how to say goodbye, do you? Look at me. Don't you understand? You touched me. 
What if he hadn't come back to see me? Huh? This is the way we say goodbye. I love you too, Coach. I know. You want to know something else? You always will. <laughs> I'm going to come back next Tuesday, okay? Yeah. I'm going to bring Janine with me, okay, next Tuesday. Of course, next Tuesday. We're Tuesday people. <laughs> Maury died on a Saturday morning. We got the call that afternoon. Hello? Oh. He had died peacefully and simply with all his family around him. Just the way he wanted it. Charlotte kept it small, just family and friends, all the ones who would have taken dancing on his perfect day. Of course, there was poetry. He shall die. Take him and cut him out in little stars. And he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and worship not the garish sun. When I'm dead, you talk. I'll listen. It wasn't that hard to hear his voice. It was Tuesday. Have you ever had a special teacher? One who taught you things you may not understand, but who never gives up? Who knows the really tough lessons take a lifetime to learn? The last class of my old professor's life took place once a week on Tuesdays. The subject was the meaning of life. The teaching goes on. <laughs>